It may just seem like a bunch of concrete, but soon April Stringfield and her 13-year-old son will be walking through the front door of their first home. We just came out here yesterday. He was real excited. Her dream of owning a home is made possible by Habitat for Humanity, as well as hard-earned volunteer hours and determination from April. She's hoping her son is soaking in this life lesson. Just keep trying. You can always get whatever you want and, you know, work hard towards getting it. This is the only house Habitat for Humanity has built on the East Coast using 3D printer technology. Kobod 2.5 printer, it develops around 5,000 PSI, which will achieve close to an R30 rating. If you're like me and you're not really sure what all those technical terms mean and you're having trouble envisioning how a 3D printer could build a house, check out this time-lapse video. I've been in the building business my entire life. I never dreamed that that I, I could see a, a printer uh, actually spit out concrete. With construction still underway, it might be hard to envision, but right now I'm standing in what will be April's brand new kitchen. The maker of the 3D printer is even going to donate a small printer so that April and her son can make their own doorknobs and cabinet poles. The new homeowner says it will be reminiscent of the concrete home of her great-grandmother. She had one now. I'm getting some similar to what she had. Except builders say this will be more energy efficient, hopefully completed in time to string up Christmas lights. Supply chain issues uh, could certainly disrupt that, but we're hopeful uh, that we can, we can pull that off and, and uh, make it a nice holiday for, for April. Well, I'm just looking forward to making memories in my new home because I never, this is my first one. In Williamsburg, Angela Bohan, News 3.